If you talk to your dad like that, I don't give a f There is nothing in this that's making me the Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this might not work out. I don't feel comfortable with one of the things that you're doing. Instead of me just telling you that respectfully, you say, oh my God, like I'm, like I'm the one that's saying too much. I don't give a f if you're if you talk to your dad like that so okay let me say this because i don't need people to see naked and all that but i'm gonna tell you like this if you really talk to your dad like that and you tell and you tell your dad oh my god when your dad is trying to be real with you trying to be respectful to you you got some serious issues you do not say oh my god in my house you do not do that you learn some respect I'm not picking favorites, but I've talked to you privately already about this situation. You know one of the situations, and I've talked to you privately multiple times about it. And if you continue to disobey me, this is not going to work out at all. It is not going to work out at all. You say, okay, you can just get any woman, blah, 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 like, you know, just, I know you can replace me. Nobody's trying to replace you. That's not how this polygamous situation goes. There is nothing in this that's making me the So she came back after she packed her bags and left. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> God, man. Oh, man. We do this for real, y'all. I can't, I can't even... You was using my turn. Okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. Oh. That's mine. That's yours. Okay. Hmm. Nobody even asked Shorty to go until she decided to be too disrespectful. That's crazy. You cannot disrespect a man in this kingdom. That's just, you shouldn't be disrespecting men in general. And it actually tells me a lot about the person if they disrespect a man in general because shows they're not the smartest person. That's very dangerous. You know, you can actually get hurt. Not saying that I would do anything, but you know, when you talk like a man, you over talk a man, you, you want to argue with a man, that's just crazy, bro. We cannot have things like that in, the, in a union like this, man. We're trying to build. We need positive, uh, great people around, you know. We can't have people that are behind the scenes being disrespectful. We can't have people behind the scenes that don't know how to be, you know, respectful and kind, feminine. Remember, as a masculine man, you're looking for the complete opposite of yourself. You know? Yes. Do you understand that, though? I understand. This girl did not leave her charger. Like, I do not see it. I don't see her charger nowhere. And really, I shouldn't even be giving it back to her, but I'm such a good guy that, you know, she did slam the door on me. Not on me, but she literally slammed the door to her, her own. Like, bro, look at that manly energy. We do not want women like that. That is just so nasty to me. Such a hug, you know? And people, you know, the issue to it, some people, they want to be so forgiving all the time. And, oh, well, you know, it was her first, her first mess up and stuff. Yeah, that you guys know. No, no, a lot of times off camera, certain things, you know, as comfortable as you try to make somebody feel, me doing this for years now, knowing the psychology of females when it comes to this type of stuff, like, bro, no. Like, it's not like it's just a one-time thing, like, you know, and I just said, oh, okay, boom, you're out of here. I don't give up on people like that. I was in an orphanage. My parents gave up on me in a way, if we're going to be honest. You know? So it's like, I don't just believe in giving up on people. I believe in second chances, third chances, especially when it comes to my own people, too. We give up on each other too easily. We're supposed to be family, but not just family. Family, melanated beings, good energy family, you know? So she didn't leave for charger. I think she just wants an excuse to come, you know, and unfortunately, sometimes you have to stand on ground. Unless the person can do something for forgiveness, a lot of you guys just be wanting some hate. That's goofy. To be real, real forgiveness 
comes from the soul. A woman that truly is apologetic, mm -hmm. she will make a sacrifice of extreme or greater value than you know that the than the situation. So, for instance, in this situation, over talking me, uh, getting very aggressive and um, slamming the door. I mean, dude, and it's actually not the first time, actually. <laughs> so you know, it's like, bruh, like, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You're the payment for this slip up. Of course, kiss on the king's finger on the ring. Um, of course, but also for banging the castle door for all the other mishaps. Payment will have to be in the term of finance, money, financial gain, something that I can actually benefit from. Um, it will have to be uh, yeah, not much you can do, man, when you when you get so disrespectful, bro. Not much you can do. Oh, man. Rocking a hard place. You're a respectful human that respects other humans. You get on your knees to show, you know, respect. That's how it works. So, yes, getting on your knees, but it would need to come with something else. Nice home-cooked meal. Yes. Um, a great true. massage, maybe in the span of even three hours. These are things that I like. So yeah, that could actually uh, be a possible, you know, way to forgiveness, a road to forgiveness. Of course, Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't just get, you know, forgave just that easy. You must keep up the same good tendencies that you had when you first came along. But, you know, yeah, man. It's unfortunate because the, the thing is, you don't want to just, you know, stop talking to somebody, giving up on somebody. But, bro, like, you know, certain things have to give, man. Certain things have to give. And yes, Shorty is still outside waiting because she thinks like her charger's in here, but it's really not. And really, even if I got the charger right now and threw it off of the 14th floor where like the top floor of this building or something, dude, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Like, you slammed my door. You slammed my door. For what? Because of what you did. It's not something I started, it's something that you started. And out of the respect that I have for just women that I'm interacting with, I don't give too much on camera, but I do let certain things be known, you know. So anyways, let me let her know her charge or not here. Shorty, tell me something though, tell me something. It's interesting when somebody disrespects you and then after they're looking for help. You can't disrespect somebody and then look for help after. That's not how this works. You do know that, right? Okay. You cannot just lie, be deceitful, disrespectful, and just expect me to help you. I don't feel bad for you. Even your tears don't make me feel bad. Now, in some ways, I do, you know, care for you because I had some care for you at first. But at the end of the day, I do care for myself as well and the respect that I have for myself. Not just get to disrespect me and just get forgiveness for that.